beautiful people, perverts, and fucking haters. It's Candy and your least favorite videos, a boxy charm. Never trust the big but the smile that there is. Y'all, when I get a little tiny box like this after that big ass box last month, and I get it, it was a boxy Lux. This is a boxy charm. It's going to be smaller. But when it's this little teeny tiny, I'm like, it better have some Tiffany in it. Okay. Now, due to analytics, these are not your guys' favorite videos. However, I have a few of you that absolutely love these videos, and I absolutely love those of you that love these videos, or else I would not continue to do them because I put a lot of work into these videos. And and they don't really get a lot of anything, really. Except for a dislike here and there. But I'm not gonna let that rain on the ones of you that love its parade. Did that even make sense? I was trying to figure all that out and figure out how I was gonna get it out without having to like go through and edit and rethink. And girl, I'm so tired of rethinking everything. Anyhow, this video doesn't seem to be gonna be that long. Look how small this box is. But real quick, I just wanna go over the things that I got last month. Remember, I pay 21, I think, dollars a month, around 23 with some tax and whatever, whatever, for this boxy charm. So as long as I get that much of a product, that I like out of it. I'm good to go. Anything other than that is bonus to me. If it's stuff that I don't use, I give it away. Or let's be real, hoard it in my makeup fucking junk drawers. All right, so like I said, last month was the Boxy Lux. Um, real quick, a couple things that I've used. I'm not even gonna pull this out. This is a little hair dryer they sent. A bougie, little, expensive, tiny, little um, travel-ass hair dryer. It's really, really nice quality. Doesn't have the power, obviously, of a big-ass hair dryer, but it's pretty good. I've used it a, a few times now. Today, I'm wearing this this lip gloss that I got in last month's boxy charm I think it's really cute sheer kind of nude not really pinky like it looks in here more of a nude really like it very comfortable on this um, truffle therapy from skin and company Roma whatever it says on there girl um, yeah I got this last month I use it almost oh, every day to just kind of refresh I don't really 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 know it's all it says is like illuminating skin fresh mist but I use it here and there and the smell of it is so 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 good it's like a minty smell. I really, really, really am liking that. And then these two things, like I don't know which one really takes the cake out of these. I don't know if my lighting's too bright. I can't really tell. My screen is a little bit. Anyhow, it doesn't really matter, does it? So um, these two products, I love both of these products. I've only used this one about three or four times because you can only use it two to three times a week. And it does burn a little bit. If you've got like any kind of like pimple that you've been you don't act, don't act, you don't act like you don't ever get a pimple or you don't ever do this, okay? So if you got any kind of little scratch or whatever, girl, for me, it burns in those areas because it is like open, I guess. So I had some, some little family growing here for a day or two and um, this did burn it a little bit. But I'm telling you, uh, I've seen so much difference in my skin just in the last week from using this a few times. And if you remember, this was like $55 or something like that. Uh, this is really, it, I, and I've been using the pharmacy, the same brand, under eye cream. I didn't get it from BoxyCharm, but I've been using this under eye cream too, which I feel like it's helped a lot too. So this pharmacy brand, see if you can get in there and get this fucking, there you go. This pharmacy brand, I am really, really, really liking. And this, I thought it was like a dry shampoo. See if we can get in there on that. I thought it was kind of like a dry shampoo. It's not a dry shampoo. It's more of like a hair spray or a hair mousse. Don't look at my hair today, girl, cause it's just mm, all over the place but this stuff is absolutely incredible it's about $30 for a can 25 plus shipping or if you whatever but it's about $30 for the can so I have read that there is a dupe by L'Oreal but we talked about L'Oreal in another video I think it was a vlog I don't remember but uh, I'm going to try the dupe to see if it's like it because and then maybe do a video we'll see but um this is incredible incredible stuff I don't think I've ever really used anything living proof but I might start giving that shit a try okay so that's my review of the stuff from last month every there was nothing in the box I didn't really like some of that weird ass mascara Oh my god, we are so far into this video. This is probably why people don't watch it. Maybe they don't. Do you guys like me to go over the products from last month? Because you know, an unboxing is just like an unboxing. Like, hey, this is what I got, girl. This seems cool. This seems cool. But it's not like, um, you know, it's not like an actual like, hey, this is good or the hit or miss. You know what I mean? Do you guys like that at the beginning of the boxy charms, Or should I maybe just split them into two videos? Or for those of you that actually watch it, because I'm looking at the monitor here. And of course, I'll be editing and stuff. But I'm eight minutes into it. 
it and I haven't even gotten to the fucking new box. So let me know that first down below. I was gonna say, oh my God. Anyhow, let's just get on with the fucking show. All right, y'all, so let's open her up. This is what she looks like. First of all, it literally jumped out at me. This one is called Elemis. I have heard so many good things about this brand. Um, I have wanted to try this brand. Actually, I was on the site yesterday because something is open on there to where you can go get products. Like, it's not, it's not the charm something open. I don't know what it's called. It's I don't remember what it's called, but you have to go look. But you can go buy products like stuff you like, for example, like that Glam Glow mask I got. I can get it for $14 there where it's $25 or something everywhere else while they still have it available. So I was just looking at that and I feel like this was on there or some, some of their stuff was on there, but I wanted to try it, but everything was like already sold out there of this so I could try it. So this is though a superfood vital veggie mask. Let's get out the card. Holy shit, I haven't even pulled the card because I just kind of fell out. So here's the card this month. It's called all natural if you can see that i'm really excited about that because i love the all natural stuff the pharmacy is an all natural plant-based product um as you guys know on the back here it does have everything listed that i'm going to get in this box i don't like to look at it until i am going through it so please no spoilers online please don't tell me what you got in your box i'll watch your channel or watch your review or something or ask you if i really want to know before i open mine because i don't like Spoilers. So, like I said, I'm going to go here. Thankfully, it's the first thing on the top. It says, get a shot of green goodness with this treatment mask that nourishes, smooths, and brightens for softer, smoother, and more radiant skin. Retails at $35. I'm really excited, excited to use this. It says, to apply the ma mask twice weekly on cleansed skin. A slight tingling may occur while the mask works. It's magic. Remove after 10 minutes with a damp cloth. Um... Have you guys tried this brand? I have heard so many good things about this brand, so I'm really, really, really excited to try that. I'm really excited I'm getting a lot more skincare lately, too. Oh, look at in here. You get a flash facial with the, with their products at Ulta for $10 during this time on here. That's really that's really cool. All right, next we have Luxie Gaia. It's a brush, apparently. Brushes. It's three brushes. Oh, these are really nice. I like these brushes. They feel nice. Oh, it's a, it's a nice blending brush there. Little packing brush. Uh, I don't really use a foundation brush. That's really what that is. Um, this is really, really nice. It's called Precision Crease. I'm sorry. I call it a packing. I would use such a pack, but they call it a Precision Crease. And this one they call a large eye blending. Yeah, this is nice. The, um, what's this called? A handle? The handle is really, really nice. These are really fucking nice. Let's see what it says on here. Uh, create the perfect look with your new eco-friendly Luxie brush set. Apply foundation. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Who cares about all that bullshit? And uh, yeah, they retail for $30. All right, what do we got here? A little packet. Cleansing spa water. Um, yeah, let's read what this is. It's by Ko Jin Do, I guess. These convenient cotton cleansing spa water cloths remove waterproof makeup and impurities while nourishing skin with mineral rich cleaning spa, cleansing spa water. $17. So they're like makeup, not like they remove makeup. They're makeup remover wipes. These are nice too. This is a nice size to put in my bag, especially if we're at the gym. Um, but yeah, this is, this is really nice. I'll have to let you guys know how this is because I'm always looking for a good makeup wipe, aren't you? Okay, we got two more things. One looks like a little palette. I've never, I've been getting a lot of palettes lately, but I didn't even know Butter of London had palettes. Oh my God, this is really, really fucking pretty. I don't feel like it's really colors that I will wear, to be really 100 with you. These are what I would consider like, because I've learned lately that even though I'm kind of going on Ashra all today because I'm doing a different video that's gotten all popping colors later, um, I I tend to like really bright colors or real natural, but these like these are more like muted, like mauvey. Like I would feel like my mom or a mom, a mom would wear these more. And I don't mean like old mom. I mean even young hip mom. But I feel like a mom. It's the only way I can explain it. How many times can I say mom? So anyhow, this is a really pretty palette. I don't think I will use it though. Um, it is called the Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. I love the name. Serving Queendom. Yes, girl, realness. Bring out your inner goddess in Butter London's vibrant natural goddess eyeshadow palette Woo, that was a mouthful enchant with six highly pigmented long-lasting shades whether you're feeling like a diva or a temptress these cruelty free shadows pair effortlessly to create an imaginative look that will make a powerful entrance 
retails at $32. It's a really, really nice palette though. Like it's, it's nice, it feels nice. It's like, it's a nice palette. I just don't think I will use it. And last but not least, we have this. I don't know what it is. It says Luna by Luna in Venus on the end here. It's a lip gloss. I see lip gloss on the end over here. So let's open this up. It says prepare for an expertly, expertly, I didn't even know that was a word, pigmented gloss that delivers high shine with long lasting color while delivering the look of fuller lips. We all love fuller lips, girl, don't we? This non-sticky, that is my new favorite term when it comes to lip glosses is non-sticky. Oh my God, look at the little stars, like how a star, God. I can't keep my attention on one thing, can I? Anyhow, this non-sticky gloss formula applies on smoothly and won't drip. We all like a drip. We all love a come through driven, don't we? Anyhow, this non-sticky gloss formula applies on smoothly. It won't drip. Hopefully it didn't break either. And it retails at $18. Let me go grab it. I get so upset and so scared because y'all know I broke that tart one that I love so much, which I still use. This is a really pretty color. I love, love, love this color. Uh, do we, should I just put it on real quick? All right, I think we shall. First of all, look at the little foot there. It's got a little doe foot for y'all that want to know instead of a brush. I think I like a doe foot better than a brush. What do you guys think? I have a couple that have a brush. I actually don't think I like the brush as well. Oh, this is nice. What was this brand? It's not sticky either. Wow. Ooh. It doesn't have a very good smell. Oh, one thing I want to say about the other one that I got last month, this, um, whatever this is called, DC, DC, don't they make shoes? Lemonade or whatever. This one smells like cake batter and it's so good. It's not like something that's like offensive or too strong. It's the best smelling makeup I've ever smelled. This one, it doesn't, when you put it on, it doesn't smell great. It almost smells like rubber. To be really honest with you, it almost smells like, like rubber, to be honest. Like a bouncy ball. A little bit more. But the shimmer is so good. Like it's 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 a really, really what is this ball doing on here, girl? Do you see that? Are we getting into some fucking Jacqueline Hill shit, girl? No, JK, JK, let's not go there. Let's not go there. It is, it's like coming off the wand. I think the wand there has a little hole in it, obviously. So that and I think it's what it's coming out of right there. That's funny. It is. A little hole in there. I've never seen that. I never noticed that. Is that normal? Oh my goodness, we're gonna have a lipstick lip gloss now. Lip gloss gate. No, not on my channel, girl. So that's everything in the box, guys. I really, I was kind of like hesitant about this box in the beginning. You know, I was a little bit of a hater about it. But honestly, it had a lot of really good things in it. Even the palette, although, like I said, I've got so many palettes. You guys don't even know how many palettes. Actually, the next video that I'm about to film after this is a, a video where I literally am get, I got four, one, two, three, no, three. Three? Three. Three palettes in that video. Uh, anyhow, any, and wait till you see them, you'll see, because it's, you'll see, because it's totally different than these palettes, and those are more like my style, so you'll understand, what, and, and those of you who have been around know my style, you know what I'm saying, so anyhow, I don't need to keep defending why I don't like, I, I really, I, I, I hate when I don't, it's not that I don't like it, it's that, just like the Tarte one last month, like it's so pretty, but like I know I won't use it and I would rather go to a home to someone who will use it. Okay, I'm gonna get off that because I'm feeling uncomfortable, obviously. That's all I have for you today, guys. Do you get boxy charm? If you do, what was your favorite thing in your box this month? Don't tell me about what's coming up next month from your little spoiler alerts that you get in your emails, okay? Or I'm coming for you. If you don't have boxy charm and would like to sign up, please use my affiliate link down below because I do get little charms to where I can go buy things as I was telling you in the beginning about how this was on there and I could go use my charms to buy. Yes, girl. So anyhow, if you don't have OxyCharm and you think you might want to try it even for one month, can you can do it just one month and cancel it anytime, use my affiliate code down below so I get charms. That's all I do get out of it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love most of you guys so much. And until next time, just be a real ass bitch because nobody likes a fake ass motherfucking asshole. Bye, guys. You never trust a big button smile that girl is